Hello everyone, Ron here from RJJ's Reactions and still working up the videos on Ren's channel and this one is called Heretic. We know that Ren uh, writes his lyrics and I've used his lyrics. The ones that he provides on uh, underneath each video are um, let's say untidy. So I've tidied it up a little bit but without changing it, <laughs> anything that he intended I don't think. Uh, so we'll have a look at the lyrics after we listen to the song Heretic. Sounds right up my alley. <laughs> Here we go. It's such a perfect day to be washed away. I went and sat by the shore and I counted the waves. I counted a hundred and eight reasons I want to escape. But then the reasons they crash upon the shore and they break. I don't, I don't think, think I've got the stamina for this anymore. I'm not sure that's why I'm here by the shore. But I'm sure that I'm so tired of searching for messiahs. Asking why, 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 why must I battle this Goliath? I'm a fool. Of nature, don't you know? I'm aware of it, but I'm so very sick of feeling so very sick. I'm tortured by the gods. I guess that I'm a heretic. Life keeps on shocking me. I wish that life was celibate. My problems keep on peaking like the Everest. The elephant in the room is that my room is in the elephant. I'm going to talk about the lyrics later, but the um, the video is 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 beautiful too. It's, it's really well done and the background vocals Ren singing over Ren <laughs> is uh, that's great too so let's just back it up and I, and I love Ren's voice I've, I've always said that my problems keep on peaking like the Everest the elephant in the room is that my room is in the elephant Coming evident that we make fear president when fear trumps love that's when the soul becomes irrelevant When my troubles keep on mounting, I make no hills out of mountains. Roundabouts of doubt are sounding, drown my youth inside the fountain. I'm a fucking atom bomb, bitch, pouring salt into the wound. Watch me rip apart the stitch. I'm that kid, the one that life subtracted. Isolated, fractured, Shakespeare reenacted, adapted for music. It's too sick, I'm shining like Kubrick. My method is clockwork, a full metal dude with my eyes. on the prize do you obey do you abide what's the price of creativity is it losing your mind and seeing patterns in the places where the patterns are to find alone but there's a lot of eyes if you notice behind him there <laughs> Wow, 
That was really, that's a strange picture there. Let me back it up a little. I don't, didn't really want that either, but I was looking for Wren there. Well, virtual Wren. <laughs> All right, that was a very cool video. Lots going on there. I didn't stop too often because I don't think I really need to dissect all the pictures. I think it was fairly clear with the lyrics, but we're going to look at the lyrics separately anyway. I love Ren's voice. There's some really beautiful segments in there too. He can play with his voice so much. He knows how to use that instrument and he's developed it over the years and I think become better and better as time goes on. Let's have a look at the lyrics now. Heretic by Ren. He writes his own lyrics. It's such a perfect day to be washed away. I went and sat by the shore and I counted the waves. I counted 108 reasons I want to escape. And then the reasons they'd crash upon the shore and they'd break. So, I don't know, thinking of suicide, thinking of packing it all in, you come up with lots of reasons to escape, but then uh, they, they get defeated. You sort of defeat yourself in your own mind, right? Um, I don't think I've got the stamina for this anymore. I'm not sure that's why I'm here by the shore, but I'm sure that I'm so tired of searching for messiahs. So searching for relief, searching for, you know, contentment, something to solve the problems that, uh, you know, the depression, anxiety, whatever the issues are, <clears throat> and getting very tired searching for them. Well, you will, because there aren't, there aren't any. Uh, <laughs> there, there, there can be some temporary relief in the imaginative deities, but there's no... That's not, I think, not, not going to be the solution, uh, probably long term for, for a lot of people anyway. Um, so he doesn't, he's wondering if he has the stamina to tolerate, to keep up this battle and this search, asking why, 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 why must I battle this Goliath? So the Goliath could be the things that are going on in his head, could be the physical problems he had as well, the illnesses and you know, life is life is life. Nature is brutal. It's gorgeous, but it's brutal at the same time. But that's nature, and we're a part of nature. And once we start to accept that, uh, it doesn't make everything easy, but I think it's much more reasonable than looking for, you know, the ultimate solution or the ultimate solve. Because I don't think you're going to find it. You're gonna you're gonna keep banging your head against the wall uh, if you do that. I'm a force of nature, don't you know? I'm aware of it, but I'm so very sick of feeling so very sick. Yeah, so that could be physically, emotionally, mentally, psychologically. I'm tortured by the gods. I guess that I'm a heretic. Life keeps on effing me. I wish that life was celibate. My problems keep peaking like they're Everest. Um, the elephant in the room is that my room is in the elephant. <laughs> okay, a good play on words there. A couple of good plays on words there. My problems peaking like they're Everest. Uh, becoming evident that we make fear pres precedent or president. I think he actually did say president, so I didn't change that. When fear trumps love. Uh, I don't know whether that's a play on Trump or not, but it could be. <laughs> so, yeah, he's feeling tortured. He, he's... Uh, that life was celibate, that it that it wasn't creating more problems. Is that what it is? That what he means? More traumas, more problems. And there's so many. And the elephant in the room is that my room is in the elephant. So there's no escaping it. You know, there's no way out of it. Uh, and that we make fear president. So it rules over us sometimes. When fear trumps love, that's when the soul becomes irrelevant. When my troubles keep on mounting, I make molehills out of mountains. Roundabouts of doubt are sounding. Drown my youth inside the fountain. I'm a effing atom bomb bitch. Pouring salt into the wound. Watch me rip apart the stitch. I think there was the picture there with his hand and the, the drug going in and then sort of going dripping down or whatever you want to call it. Um, so yeah, lots of attempts to try to solve the, the troubles and the problems. Uh, drown my youth inside the fountain, the fountain of youth, but you're drowning within the fountain. So again, another good play on words there. And of course, uh, people make mountains out of molehills. He's flipped that. I make molehills out of mountains. Uh, roundabouts of doubt are sounding. Uh, pouring salt into the wound, making it worse. I'm that kid, the one that life subtracted, isolated, fractured, Shakespeare reenacted, adapted. For music, it's too sick. So... Um, yeah, Ren 
Ren refers to himself as a kid. He continues to do so, although he's, he's not really a kid anymore. <laughs> but uh, yeah, a lot of people feel that, that they're the only ones with these problems. And of course, you're not. There's tons of people. I'd say most people have at least occasional uh, feelings of doubt and feeling subtracted, uh, but some more than others. And yeah, isolated fraction. Shakespeare reenacted, adapted for music. It's too sick. I'm shining like Kubrick famous director of course clockwork orange and that's why he's got my method is clockwork so Ren is all very good at uh, referencing other works of art a full metal dude uh, and that was another one of, of Kubrick's films uh, full metal jacket uh, with my eyes on the prize do you obey do you abide what's the price of creativity is it losing your mind so yeah sometimes the creative type people uh, are emotional and and um, sensitive to things and, and you want to be sensitive because you want to open up yourself so that you can feel others and have empathy and and put that into your art whether that's music or writing or any kind of art I guess painting whatever um, but on the other hand by opening yourself up to all of those feelings and emotions and psychological states uh, it's damaging. It can be quite damaging and, and quite difficult. So the, it's a double-edged sword. It can be good, but it can be vicious and uh, kill you at the same time. Uh, I, but I think that writing and, and probably for Ren songwriting and performing and, and my writing, it, it's mostly helpful. I, it does, and, and I think you can't totally shut it off either. So if you don't do it uh, uh, for a while, it doesn't it doesn't turn off that sensitivity it doesn't change you uh, and it doesn't block you I mean you can do it for a while you can block for a while but you're going to have to open up again you're the same person so yeah I think you have to do that so it's not really the creativity that's hurting you or making you lose your mind uh, the creativity can be an outlet to, to help you uh, but it, I, I don't think it's what really makes you lose your mind I think it's I think that's flipped I think it's the other way around and seeing patterns in the places where the patterns hard to find all alone all alone yeah humans are pattern seeking creatures uh, that's what we are and that's where a lot of the religion comes from we're looking for patterns we're looking for and we're also looking for a savior we're looking for something beyond ourselves and beyond nature like i mentioned nature's cruel and vicious it's beautiful as well uh, but it's it is cruel so we we always look for a way out and how can we be special how can we be you know live forever even you know if that might mean in heaven but uh <laughs> so it, it's very attractive um but I, I don't think it's the solution either wonderful lyrics i love his plays on words uh, and his allusions and references and um yeah really really well done the presentation was good too. Ren's voice is incredible, and I love the video. It was all of his videos are so expertly done. So the people around him know what they're doing as well. All right, that was Ren. Let me know what else you'd like to hear uh, from Ren or anyone else. It's Ron from RJJ's Reactions. Until next time, keep listening, keep having fun. Bye bye for now.